What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video we're gonna compare another feature of Cubase and Studio One. This is a very important feature that I like in Cubase and I found out that Studio One has a similar feature as well. So let's go ahead and get started. In the previous video we talked about audio warp and how we can match the tempo according to the scene in Cubase and Studio One. In this video I'm going to talk about this function here, use video follows edit mode. So what it does is, uh, for example, if I have a MIDI track or an instrument track, I can just drag the MIDI event or any event for, for that matter. Actually this is an audio event and I can even use the MIDI event as well to just move around and I can see the scenes as well. So this is very useful and usually for this kind of thing I disable the snap. So I can see even better, like so, right? Let me show you guys why this is very, very important. Okay, let's say there's a scene where I need to have an impact sound. With this feature now, I can just come here and just go along with the scene and stop where it stopped. See, it stopped here and I can just let it go. So now, when I come here, you're going to see the transition scene. And now if let's say I have a music a melody or something, now I know where I should stop the melodic phrase or any rhythmic phrase that I use for this scene. And I can also see this with the key editor. Make sure that you have enabled the global track with the video. So now I can just come here and write this note like so. See, this is very powerful feature in Cubase and I love this. So when I was playing around with Studio One, I found out that they had a similar thing. So let's jump into Studio One and check it out. Okay, I'm in Studio One right now. I'm going to use the same scene. Okay. All right, let me add an instrument here. All right, let's go back. I'm going to double click and open this window to see the scene. So right here, if I want to see the scene here, I can just drag it like so. And obviously it is in the snap mode. I'm going to disable snap and now I can even move it around even better. So in order for you to have this function, you have to come here and click on this cursor follows edit position. So if you don't have this enabled, then so when you do this, it's not going to move together. So I'm going to enable this again. And now I can see the scene as well. And now I can double click on it, create a note, see. Right. So let me turn off the snap. So it has a similar function here, which is cool. Like I said, and it's really helpful when I'm scoring for the scene. Okay. And it's also as smooth as Cubase as well. So both Cubase and Studio One have the same feature and it works pretty well. I mean, I wouldn't say Cubase does this better or Studio One does it better. They're both equally good, right? So this is the powerful feature that I'd like to share with you guys. So stick around if you want to know more about Cubase and Studio One and its similarity and differences. Okay, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.